Hello everyone, welcome back, Kevin with Survival Boards. Guys and gals, we are out here on the Natchez River. <clears throat> I am looking for a camping hunting spot for the hunting season of 2021 to 2022. I was in here, oh, what is this, May 2021, and I was back up here in January. But thankfully I saved the route on a hiking app and was able to come back to this exact same spot because it is wonderful. It is wonderful, wonderful. A lot of pig sign, a lot of deer sign. So what we're doing now is we're going to be scouting the area again. We've got some sloughs in here. And this makes it, this spot is unattractive to other hunters. And I'm going to, Kevin, why is this spot unattractive to hunters? <clears throat> because there's a creek right there that floods. And if you land on the other side of that creek and you try to go in, you're only going to go in 100 feet. And that's a big, long slough down through there. So you come up on the river and it's like, oh man, that looks like a good hunting spot. You're going to land your boat and do 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 Well, crap, there's a slough. You're going to go that way. This way, there's a creek. That way's a slough. Then that slough's got a big cut off of it that goes around. It's like, well, crap, let's go somewhere else. But what they don't know is that they're... And you come over here, and you go, and you're going to put their boat up over here, and you're going to get out, and they're going to hike in a little bit, another slough. It's like, well, no, just never mind. We're not even going to hunt here. But what they don't know, if they would spend some time scouting, is that there is a little narrow cut that you could transverse by foot. You could travel by foot between the two sloughs. But it is narrow, and I found it by sheer chance. So I've... Recorded my route on a hiking app. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, just got finished eating a delicious pimento cheese sandwich and chugging some water. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut back up in here again and do some more scouting. I'm going to bring y'all along. Some of y'all say, well, Kevin, it's dark. Uh, well, yeah, if you live out in, where you have access to rural areas, yeah, this is boring. But some people don't. Some people they have to live in the city. They'll never be able to get out and do anything like this unless they pay or know somebody or something like that so this is more for the people that don't that are unable or can't get out just want to be able to see and see stuff like this well i don't know who you are but thank you thank you thank you appreciate you leaving your stand out here like this this is nice i may do i may use this this year i may use that this year See, this is what I was talking I don't know what he's planning on shooting. I mean, it's, look at this. Now, I found another stand in here, um, I don't know, a quarter mile back in there. And it's a lot better spot than in here. See, this is what I was talking about. See that bog over there? Bog here. You got a little strip right here. But I didn't land in the exact same spot. My, my GPS on my phone is a little off. You get on the river, the banks all look the same because of all the willow trees. And you're going to say, Kevin, you got permission to be out here? And they're like, yeah, I got permission to be out here. This is public hunting lands. You got permission to use this stand? Well, you're not supposed to leave stuff out on public lands. Just not supposed to do it. And so, let's see. Ladder was coming up here. And it doesn't look that old. I mean, it doesn't look at the bolts. Bolts don't have a lot of rust on it. The welds here have got some rust on them. So it's not that old. But I just don't know what he was hoping to see out here. I suspect he just came out here and put a stand up and left it. But <coughs> you happy to get caught to mess the stand. Nothing, you just get down, you apologize, and you leave. You know, people set this stuff up and they just leave it here. Stuff happens and and if you abandon something on public property, then um, and I don't see no name on it. And I could write my name on it, but I'm not. I'm not. Not that, per not that kind of person. You got to watch out around here, guys. See this slow-moving water. <coughs> <coughs> no, I don't have COVID. I've had my vaccine. You know, this is not the same exact spot that I landed and explored the other day. Not the same spot. Either that or this water is up a lot higher. 
You got to be careful around here for snakes. Frogs get in here and water moccasins will get in here looking for the frogs. You just got to be careful, guys. Just be very, very careful. Around these fallen trees and stuff. And ain't this beautiful? And ain't this just absolutely beautiful? See if that guy would have came down here and put that tripod stand that was over there, here. This, this, this would have been a nice spot. See how open that is? Hang on. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so. Not fall in here. Oh, the, I hope he shot. I hope he got something. Whoever set the stand up, I hope he got something. Our journey comes to an end. The yeah, river as high as it is and running water in here where I was supposed to have crossed at was here. And we can see uh, what's going on. So I'm gonna have to be I'm gonna have to watch the weather. If I want to hunt this spot, scout this spot, I'm gonna have to be a little bit watch the weather. I'm not gonna be able to do it whenever the river's up. And uh, this part of the Natchez River is not controlled by a dam. So the the water fluctuates depending on rainfall. Here, somebody's boat out there. Hopefully they won't mess with my boat. Well, guys and gals, I'm rather disappointed. I was hoping to get in here and show y'all some stuff, but not going to happen today. Well, y'all did see some stuff, but just not what I wanted to show you. So it's going to have to be, we'll make it in here again, guys, guys and gals. We'll make it in here again. Look at this. I mean, it's just beautiful through here. Just absolutely beautiful. 